Hello and welcome back to our Lord of Criminal Rogue Trader Early Access Playthrough. I'm Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. It has been several weeks since we played. We got distracted with a few other games. But we are back at it because I am really enjoying this Early Access Playthrough. And this is absolutely massive. I am shocked it's Early Access. There are some things that you can tell are kind of Early Access just given the... Um, call it space battles aren't fully developed a little basic and things like that uh, but for the most part I don't think I've ever played an early access game this extensive and quite frankly like this much fun like there aren't too many bugs um, so with that let's get back at it we are trying to reclaim what is lost there are lot, lots of missions so we need to find Kiavagama and Dargonis I don't know what I was thinking I have to go back and like check my other videos or why I came all the way the hell out here. Um, we're just gonna come back to the system. I think we already, do we, mind world? Yeah, I don't think there's, I don't think there's anything left for us here. I'm not sure why I came over here. Okay, all right. Warp travel. Did I have... Oh, where the hell are we? There we are. Did I have reason to believe... That... We had a... Planet here, like, it, these are our two colonies. I think, uh, Telicos Epsilon... Is where... Is, is where Janus was. So, um, let's see. Warp travel, Mew row 79. Why the hell not? Ship's wardens notify officers about a strange insect-like creature appearing on the atmospheric chamber deck. The entity was destroyed, but the incident was recalled a few days later when one of the astronauts lost his mind, shrieking about a splitting headache. The psyker perished shortly after, and the autopsy revealed the presence of countless bloated larvae consuming his brain. But corpse and insects were safely disposed of. All right, well, we lost a navigator. Hopefully we have numerous to help us. Ice world, let's head over there. Already, how is it already explored? Was I in the system? Was I in the system? I'll be honest with you, it's probably been more than several weeks. It's been almost a couple months. Um, absolutely nothing. That was, that was a bad use of time. All right, we're gonna, oh shoot. We didn't scan, I'm dumb. The duty officer reported an incident with a sh in the shuttle repair bay. A security team was dispatched in response to a distress signal. When they arrived, they discovered that the shuttle repair crew had doubled in number. Somehow, every crew member now had an identical twin, but each assured the guards that they were the real one. The guards immediately opened fire, killing everyone in the bay. The duty officer awarded the squad accommodation for their vigilance and efficiency. 40k. It's a dark, dark time. Lord Captain, according... To telemetry, we are in the system of Kievagama. We found it. The main industrial world of the Von Valencius dynasty. However, our astropaths report that attempts to contact Governor Goprak have been unsuccessful. Um, I truly did not know that Kievagama was here, uh, but I figured for some reason I must have had some sort of intel earlier to start traveling this way. I Or I just was going for it. Big dis, but wait, the Vox Master is silent for a few seconds. Lord Captain, a new report. Kiavagam is sending a request to exchange data. Should we accept it? Reply with our own request. As you command, Lord Captain, the Vox Master switches to a nearby comm channel to relay your instructions to the crew. For several minutes, nothing happens. Lord Captain reporting, the manufacturing is ignoring all our requests and continues to send us its own. The longer we do not accept their message, the stronger and more persistent the incoming signals become. I've never seen anything like it. Suddenly a deafening screech erupts from the bridge box system. You hear violent tires of garbo binary code and the low chuckles of machinery. Lord Captain, interference detected in the compartments box system. Looks like the bridge is cut off from the rest of the void ship. All 
right. Start a pick recording. The void ship's bridge. Sounds of working cogitators and officers' footsteps. The everyday scene is interrupted by an ear-splitting beeping sound followed by lumens going out. In the dim glow of candles and emerging lights, one of the officers in frame cries out. Another falls to her knees, clutching her head. Over the beeping box of shouts can only be heard what's going on. The doors are locked. We lost contact with all modules. One of the bridge officers turns to the third Lord Captain. The Vox stations are malfunctioning and overloading the system. None of our outgoing transmissions are getting through. The incoming ones that do make it are distorted beyond interruption. Lord Captain, give the order to decipher the incoming Vox transmissions at all costs. Continue sending orders from the bridge and request status updates from other modules. All right, we're going to decipher it. Proceed. A team of decryption experts gets to work. Data tethers are inserted into sockets as they connect to the cogitators. One of the Vox clerics leans over the console. Another is writing something on a piece of parchment. Then she bursts into a maniacal laughter and saps herself in the eye with a steel quill. Another scream. A tech priest who is mid-prayer tears himself to pieces. Tears himself to pieces with his own mechadendrites. More and more lunatics are mutilating themselves and lunging at, at others. Portions of pick recording damage at damage after contact with a known object. The guard officer shoves a rabid servitor away from the Lord Captain as he um, rushes to help the crew, shouting out orders. Let's use our strength. Strength check failed. The mad officers are attacking their comrades. The recording shows glimpses of torn heads staining everything with blood and a Vox cleric howling in pain, clutching his broken arms. By the time they have tied up all those not killed in the scuffle, bridge attendants can barely catch their breath. Scrap code. The voice belongs on the deck engine uh, to the on deck engine engine seer who has turned to the Lord Captain from the station. We have been attacked with scrap code, a tech heresy designed to corrupt machines. The transmission received from the planet was infected with this taint and it is now running through the ship's veins. Omnissiah, preserve us. The void born officer appears before the Lord Captain once more. Whatever it is attacking us, we have a backup procedure that can circumvent the Vox barrier. In the atrium leading to the bridge, there is a terminal for an isolated system that might still be on uh, a loud pop. The pipes over the officer's head burst in a blast of hot air, fl flings the void born away from the Lord Captain, his body slamming straight through the cogitator panel. The pick frame spins uncontrollably. The servo skull was jolted by the gust. The pick recorder fogs over the Vox pick picking up the crackling of electricity and death cry. Gasps on the bridge, a junior attendant shouts and instantly doubles over, inhaling the poison air. The rogue traitor... Um... <laughs> Alright, let's use persuasion. Persuasion check succeeded. The rogue traitor personally oversees the evacuation. Bring the plasma cutters, get the wounded to the exit. The officers repeat the, his orders. On the servo skull, fo following the rogue traitor, reaches the door. They fall to the plasma cutters and crumble outward. The rogue traitor is the last to leave the bridge. Carouse check, leaning on a support beam. The rogue traitor takes several deep breaths, trying to flush his lungs with air. Then he straightens, smooths his uniform, and heads towards a goal known only to him. The servo skull follows. The atrium is in a state of panic. Silhouettes, a silhouette skitter around in the dark hall, illuminated only by flickering of emergency lumens. Cut orders and summons feverish words of prayers can be heard. Having lost all communication, the beheaded ship is writhing in, ang writhing in ang agony. It takes a while for the Lord Captain to find the cogitator mentioned by the fallen officer. The panel of the isolated terminal is riddled with cracks and bloodstains, and on the floor by the terminal, a tech priest is lying in a heap with his head smashed and technical liquids mixed with blood oozing out of his ports. The Lord Captain attempts to take his chances with restoring this terminal. Tech, you succeeded. Where is Pascal in all this? The rogue trader rips a power key off the tech priest's mechanendrace and opens a cover in the terminal. Sparks fly into his face, but he is confident in his manipulation of the tangled wires and clanging levers. After replacing the cover and ensuring that the system is restored, the lower captain brings up the required data on the screens. The maintenance module is sending out hundreds of desperate distress calls that have gone unanswered up to now. When the machines went out of control and started turning people insane, others driven by some hateful and paranoid logic started butchering the servants of the Adeptus Mechanicus. The tech priests have sustained heavy losses, but the, remain what, but the remains of their cults are still holding the line. Out of everything that's happening on the ship, the situation in the maintenance module is the direst. Lord Captain knows where help is needed most. He decides to head to the maintenance module himself, send an officer to the module where the situation is critical. We're going to head to the module itself. 
The rogue traitor arrives at a moment too soon. The crew, frightened out of their wits, have already cornered the priests of the Omniscient and are about to execute them. The Lord Captain stands between the angry mob and the tech priests. His sheer presence already giving the crowd pause. Harshly cutting off any objections from the crew, the rogue trader orders the officers he gathered on the way here to escort the mutineers out and set up a guard post outside the module. The tech priests begin to offer desperate prayers to the crippled machine spirits. Return to the bridge. We apparently, hopefully, survive. The walk to the bridge is uneventful. The crisis has passed, although wounded and crippled, the ship nevertheless is returning to its normal operation. Life on the bridge is as bustling as ever, even though the people are surrounded by destruction. The senior officers have the situation under control, and the people have been organized. The emergency crew have already finished repairing the pipes. The technomaths are setting up cogitators and consoles, and the healers are bagging up what few corpses there are and examining the wounded. By the comm station, the rogue trader runs into the Vox Master. Praise the Emperor, you're in one piece, Lord Captain. The situation on board is satisfactory. I was just in the middle of setting up comm channel. Soon all the Vox Casters will be fully operational. Another, pan another man appears in the pick frame, a junior officer, completely out of breath, carrying a heap of scrolls. The Vox Master nods at him. Ah, here are the reports, Lord Captain. If you find able um, if you find able to return to your station, I can immediately give you a rundown of the state of affairs of the ship. End of pick recording. Lord Captain, the Vox Master voice is quivering with exhaustion. The situation has been brought under control, more or less. It will take some time to eliminate the consequences of the attack completely, but the vessel is capable of motion. We may even be able to conduct a warp jump if you feel we should leave the system. Allow me to bring you up to date. Hell no. You say this was Kiavagama? Hopefully that's not the dead world. Fortunately, the bridge suffered only minor losses. The reports mention only a few casualties that have already been replaced. Kiavagama went silent after transmitting the harmful signal. I'll refrain from sending inquiries to the industrial world to avoid a second attack. I'm afraid we have exhausted our options for remote analysis. More information can only be obtained by closing the distance or even sending an away party to the planet's service. But we're going down there and we are going to kick the crap out of whatever chaos fiends have taken over. Oh boy. A new mission. We'll take a look at that. Henrix, the Vox clicks as Henrix joins the channel. The time has come to remind you of our agreement, Rogue Trader. I must be present in your entourage during the expedition to Kiavagama. I'm counting on your cooperation. Alright, love to have you. You do all damage. We're not going to bring our alien friend. You're lit. So don't worry. The crew is waiting for their instructions, Lord Captain. Ah, there is Kiavagama there. Where is. Flame of the Dark. Alright, the attempt to establish, uh, make planet fall on Kiavagama. Yes, we will, but, um, we did take. Well, let's go ahead and repair. Let's begin scan. Nothing. signal this dwarf planet is marked all right Atlay added on the bottom of the sea's trade empire church has Atlay and serves as a backup source of water for the ha habitable worlds of the neighboring system through the abundance of bacteria proliferating on the Atlay hydrosphere the extraction of ice was stopped half a century ago much to your officer's surprise the augers detected an unidentified mining rig deep under the ground presumably the evacuation the excavation is aimed at extracting clay minerals near the planet's core. All right. Um, let's go fellowship. We should have good fellowship. Fellowship failed. The box report reports mission was sent, in, sent to receive several hours past, but no reply. Athletics. Athletics checks it succeeded. I guess it should run through all of our parties' abilities, but I thought we had high fellowship. I have to look. The Extractium turns out to be the Incendia Corda's latest investment, whose Demensne is located just within a few jumps of the Karanach system. While this world is of little value to the Von Valencia Society, your officers see this gesture as an attempt to test the boundaries of the newly minted Rogue Trader's leniency. Alright. Um... Let's see... So... We're going to keep it for ourselves. Magos Pascal notes the unusual compo com composition of Atlay's core. 
So we are going to keep the sub, um, subsequent development while the extraction of rare refractory metals. Heeding this advice, the rogue trader decides to keep the extractium for himself. Your people easily assume control of the frightened workers and the token security crew not even attempt to resist. The extractium machines are restarted shortly after and the amassed containers precious ore are delivered to your ship's cargo bay. All right. Where is this? Plasteel, Xenotech, Adamantium. Artificial object. Oh crap. I'll right. be your beacon in the darkness. What the what? Iconoclast destroyer. Alright. Well, son of a. Lay in the course. Alright, I gotta remember some of the controls. some of our moves for now. Fury? I forgot they can Righteous Fury. Oh jeez. This sucks. Literally, it's eighty percent. All right, well, lay in the course. Alright. 
I was hoping you could control that torpedo, but I guess that's not how it works. Oh crap, there's another torpedo salvo. This is gonna be a tough fight. For sure, for sure. Why don't your technomats recharge the shields? Inventory's gonna help us here. Alright. Annihilate them! Bleed for a sec. Here to go. shields because we don't have a Another choice. Salvo. Fire right now! Okay, I was hoping to get out of range of that guy. That's all we can do. Ah, oh, crap. You can still fire at me. I was... He missed. Gonna have to suck it up. Take the hit. Get a good angle. Uh, Fire the launch back. The time has come. All right. I don't. Unfortunately, we're out of range. Let's uh, buff that side.
torpedoes, the added thing doesn't help. Man, this is a tough... Done what we can. I'm gonna go. Four in case they try to get in front of us. What? Why? You're not gonna let me do what I wanna do? That can't be right. Sir, you got to be a way around that. Alright. <laughs> Hopefully this guy turns around and we can take him out. This move is working as I. Oh, is it? Okay. Oh. Ooh. Beautiful. Cost one AP. Leave the hull strewn across the stars. Gotta be. You gotta be kidding me. Oh no, 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 what? Sucks. 
Alright, so that missile move did work. The right turn did not work. Drop some torpedoes. Unavailable. Oh, because we have our torpedoes. Get too close to this guy. Wow. I did not think we were gonna make it. I do have to just finish off the. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Ow. For the Fon Valencia Annals. The battle is over. Holy crap. Wow. Alright, well. That happened. We're gonna make landfall in Kiavagam in the next episode. If you wanna watch more of this Imperial Rogue Trader early access playthrough, please be sure to drop a thumbs up and please comment. I'm coming back to this because I actually had better viewership um, than I originally thought just over time. Uh, so you can do direct my content. So if you wanna see more of this early access playthrough, please be sure to drop a thumbs up and comment. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in future videos. Shadow Coast out.